When I was presented with the topic of leaps and bounds, my mind went directly to like time. I've always been interested in time, like how we measure change in the world, how things progress. Um, I've, time is like a construct of our brains. It lets us know what things were and where they will be and measures where they were in the middle, right? All of us, every single one of us is a time traveler. Just like in one direction, like one day at a time throughout the whole world. Our world as it is has not always been this way and it doesn't always have to be this way. My work through the Crime Victim Center of Chester County is to travel throughout our communities, working with folks like yourselves and engaging everyone in trying to protect their community. That means addressing risk factors and increasing protective factors that can lead to violence. My goal is to empower everyone in the community to change the world in a positive way for tomorrow. Margaret Mead said that the solution to adult problems tomorrow depends in large measure on how children are raised today. When I think about the adult problems of tomorrow, I think about both the adults of tomorrow and the adults of today. The adult of today that I know the best is, of course, myself. When I was a young person, I had a, tr a tremendous fear of public speaking. I couldn't stand in front of a classroom of my peers without my legs shaking uncontrollably. While most people in this world do have a fear of public speaking, mine can be traced to a singular event. I have one moment where I gained this fear. I'll keep the story kind of short. It involved a substitute math teacher, my fundamental misunderstanding of how fractions work, a completely botched homework assignment, and me repeatedly being called to the board and getting questions wrong in front of my class. What this left me with was two things, a fear of public speaking and the complete inability to use fractions in my daily life. Only 0.5 of those things have been changed over the last couple years of my life. Thank you for laughing at that. I knew it was gonna crush. Um, so looking back over my lifetime as to how I got here, I think about all of the energy, work, and effort that I put into changing that fear of public speaking. It started when I was a high school student as a Boy Scout camp counselor, teaching small groups of my peers leadership skills, fire building, first aid, knife safety. And then when I got to college, I started finding opportunities to speak in front of my classmates or to do events through our campus's women's center and finally ending at Crime Victim Center where I speak to hundreds of people a year audiences of any size, of any age, with confidence. I reflect on this journey to see how worth it it was. I put a ton of energy, I had a ton of help, I turned a genuine fear into an absolute strength and my career. I'm not perfect, I still get nervous in front of crowds sometimes. Before this event, I went over my speech a hundred times, I wrote it and rewrote it, I procrastinated, right? I'm not perfect. I'm a work in progress just like the rest of our world. That's my adult problem of today. But what I get to do is use my voice all over the county to work with folks just like you to uplift your voices. When I think of the adult problems of tomorrow, I get to think about the adults of tomorrow, such as y'all here right now. I get to work with people engaging in these speaking events trying to find folks who are using their voice to make a change in their communities. I speak to groups of all ages and say, your voice is the most powerful tool that you will ever have. It can be used to lift people up or to tear them down. It can be used to speak out against injustice or it can be used to join in on it. Each of us has a responsibility to use our voice not only for the betterment of ourselves, but for the betterment of those around us. That's exactly what brought me here to Unionville High School with these incredible young people who are using their voices to speak out on things that matter to them. Whenever I come to a space like this, I am blown away by how brilliant and forward thinking these young folks are. These teenagers are more connected to the world than anyone who's come before them. They speak from these incredible, unique perspectives. They see the world in incredible ways. 
I am often floored by their capacity for empathy and their ability to uplift the people around them in creative and compassionate ways. I reflect on my journey not to pat myself on the back, but to appreciate where I was and the work that went into it, and also to be grateful for where these young people are right now. They are working so hard every day to improve their community's climate and culture for the betterment of everyone around them. When I think about this, it gives me a vision of hope for tomorrow. When I think about these young folks and I think about the adult problems of tomorrow, whatever they look like, I'm positive they're in excellent hands.